Hi guys, for today's video, we're going to be doing a very requested one. I get this um, request on my comments so many times over and over throughout the years, and I actually have a video like this already, which I will put up here or up here. I can never remember. This is how to start your makeup artist kit if you're on a budget and you're wanting to become a professional makeup artist. I did a video very similar to this a couple of years ago. I can't remember exactly what it was. I did this like three or four years ago. I think it was either how to start your makeup kit on a budget or how to start your like a drugstore. I, I honestly can't remember. I will make sure to put it above somewhere <laughs> um, but I also do have a what's in my makeup kit as an artist and I'll link below as well so you guys can access it easier but I've gotten a lot of comments recently as to how to start your makeup kit if you're wanting to become a professional artist on a budget I guess this could be kind of like my updated version because I feel like drugstore makeup is just so good it's so much better now than ever even when it was just three or four years ago which wasn't that long ago but it's gotten so much better. And I think like most of my day-to-day -day makeup that I use is not expensive makeup. I don't freelance anymore, I actually stopped freelancing. I do it here and there for like to select few people, but I don't freelance anymore where I like take weddings, I do brides and I do things like that. And the rare occasion that I still do makeup, I feel like I've just very like minimized my steps. A couple years ago, pre-COVID, I was just about all the steps. Like we needed everything and anything to be prepared. And even though I've been doing makeup for many, 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 many years now, I've really simplified it. And I don't know if COVID had anything to do with that. Maybe it did, but also I'm just not like one of those people anymore where I take all those steps that I felt like were necessary back then. I feel like you can get it done uh, more affordably and quicker as well without like having to buy everything. This is how I would start my kit if I was an up and coming makeup artist today and I wanted to do it on a budget. So let's start with base. Now you can go with whatever skincare that you want. You always want to make sure you have a good eye cream. I like to do hyaluronic acid even if the skin is normal to oily because it just adds that extra hydration and it just is like a necessary step. Like the skin Skincare has to be good for the makeup to look good. That's that's what I think at least. That's something that I live by. So eye cream, I've always kept a hyaluronic acid, something a little heavier if I had somebody with super dry skin and a moisturizer. I love good molecules. It's super affordable. Their hyaluronic acid is something that I use every single day. It's like six bucks. And then any moisturizer. I love the Bliss one. Um, you can also buy the Embrolease. That one is a little bit on the heavier side, but it can be used for uh, like more oily skin tones. I've used it on all different skin types. Super, super dry, flaky dry, to oily to normal. So that's a really good one. You can order it on Amazon. And then um, again, the Bliss, I love that one. Just do your research when it comes to skincare. But I would say hyaluronic acid, some type of moisturizer for oily skin and then something more targeted towards dry skin. Now I love this eye cream. This is the caffeine eye cream. It's really great. It kind of helps brighten the under eye a little bit. So that's always a safe bet. You, most of your clients are going to want to look bright and awake and that has caffeine in it. So it works really well for that area. Now for primers. I used to be so big into primers. I needed a primer for everything for the outer perimeter of your face, for the T-zone, something for oily, something for dry. Don't do all that. I don't, I just don't think it's necessary anymore. Although I still like primer, I still use primers. I don't use it on a day-to-day -day basis, but for special events, I would say, yeah, it doesn't hurt to have a primer. Uh, I don't have it right now. I did run out of it, but the Wet n Wild, I think it's called the Perfect Primer. I can't remember the name of it, but I'll pop it up right here. That is amazing. It's so good. It's super affordable. It's like under $6 at the drugstore, and it is amazing. You can use it on dry skin. You can use it on oily skin. I heavily see a difference when I use it and I'm wearing my makeup for hours. I actually believe it was a birthday party that ended up lasting to like an early morning party. It was like one of those kinds of nights, and I had it on from like... 
6 p.m. till like 4 in the morning and my makeup still looked amazing so that I highly 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 recommend you can use it on dry and oily skin it blurs it doesn't get cakey it doesn't like nothing grabs to it like sometimes with foundations if you use a weird primer it like grabs in a weird way that doesn't do that I love that primer so much and I also love this angel veil from NYX I have been using this one for years and years and years it's affordable it's so beautiful it's like very silky it's makes your makeup last longer like I visibly see a difference when I use this and you could go in with just the angel veil but you could also use it on oily skin but if you have somebody where you really want to focus on pores go in with a wet and wild if you need like oil to stay at bay go in with the wet and wild in the t-zone let's talk about foundations now for foundations there are so many amazing amazing drugstore foundations I will actually grab a couple let me grab my kit hang on just a second I wasn't prepared and I didn't have it ready okay first and foremost I will say the L'Oreal fresh wear foundation is oh my god so good one of my favorites of all time it is just incredible good long-lasting dry skin oily skin anybody can use it I have used it on clients who had like dry flaky skin and you just go in heavier with the skincare go in with more hydrating products underneath and it looks amazing it's so like natural it just looks like skin and it comes in so many different shades and undertones you can invest in a foundation palette you kind of have to test and try things see what you like if you want to go with a foundation palette go with that if you'd rather have like individual foundations you know different brands or something you can go with that as well now I did both I did have a palette I would say for me I like the option of having the palette because it had so many different um, shades in it and undertones but I'll go ahead and show you guys the one that I have I had the Ben Nye this is the essential matte HD foundation palette so mine kind of moved all over the place but see how it kind of had like a mixture of different things um, I have a lot of light medium and then some dark down here I got the most questions from people about how do you know like what what foundations to get and what to use and I would say in the beginning you can either start with a palette like this it's up to you or you can start with just a couple of like regular like glass foundation bottles and just get a variety I would say do your research each brand is gonna have like their own undertone like um, Maybelline the poor fit me foundation and the dewy foundation I love the dewy one they have so many different undertones and shades you can choose from websites are really good nowadays about posting the undertones for certain foundations so like this NARS one this is the light reflecting foundation this is like a light medium warm undertone and I ordered this online because I just went on the website and searched my complexion with undertone and just ordered the one that I thought was best for me so you order a couple of foundations five foundations you get a light a light medium a medium dark and then a dark and then like let's say a deep deep dark and then a light light so you have that variety right you can mix and match foundation so I have mixed so many things to get the perfect color I don't feel like there's really one foundation per se that's gonna match me hundred percent I love to mix these two right now so I'm mixing the NARS and then the beauty blender and that is like the perfect shade for me so you can always do that that'll help you save money in the long run where you don't have to buy every single shade and be stressed and worried that you're not gonna have the perfect one you're gonna want to mix and match because you're gonna be able to customize it to that person best anyways take a permanent marker and put like LN for light neutral or uh, WD for warm deep you know something like that just be prepared so I would say for complexion go with something like a palette or pick up a couple of your favorite individual foundations I like the L'Oreal fresh wear because it works for dry and for oily skin you can do L'Oreal pro matte pro matte is in this kind of packaging it's a really pretty soft natural matte foundation I also love the matte and poreless now this one doesn't work for my skin but I like it on other people for some reason Reason. I don't know why it doesn't make any sense and this is super affordable it's like six bucks uh, this one is by Maybelline I also love the dewy one from Maybelline just what you like on yourself is probably what you're gonna like on other people you know so just kind of play with things um, you don't have to go out and try a million different foundations just grab a couple you know test things out start with this work your way up to this you don't like this foundation try a different one it's it's all like 
process of elimination. Moving on to concealer, I love, 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 love the e.l.f. concealer. This is amazing. It is so full coverage. I know a lot of people like the camel one. I'm not a fan of that. I love the hydrating one. This one works better for me. They have so many different shades. It's full coverage. It doesn't crease. I have super creasy under eyes and I bake my concealer and it stays all day long. Like it never moves. I also love... <sighs> This one here, this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. These are super affordable. You can use these for cream contour and then you can also use them for under eye concealer. Those are really good ones. And then kind of do the same thing where you get different shades. You know, get a couple of light ones, a couple of medium, a couple of deep, couple of different undertones sprinkled in there and then just mix and match. And these are all drugstore. You know, I'm talking about drugstore items. You can go high end if you want, but you don't have to use a $50 foundation to make somebody have perfect flawless skin. I just don't believe that, okay? Look, if you have a client who's like, no, you're not using YSL on me, well then you know what, that client's probably not for you. Moving on to powder, I would say go with like a translucent powder. Now, I like to have a little combination of more, something with some coverage and then something translucent. Just me personally, I always use translucent more than anything or something where it's like very light coverage. I love the Maybelline Fit me translucent powders these are some of my favorites the makeup lasts so long it doesn't look powdery or cakey or anything especially when you set towards the end it just looks so good I love that one I love the ColourPop translucent powder this is the no filter setting powder it just leaves such a beautiful like cast I use that to bake underneath my cheekbones and it doesn't leave that white cast. It's just like a nice, beautiful like. Now this I would say go ahead and spend a little bit more money on. I love this MAC palette from um, MAC. This MAC palette from MAC. I love this. Now I don't know, this is my personal one, so I don't know if they have this in darker shade tones. I imagine that they would. I love this for setting the concealer. You've got these top three, and then you have these for contour or bronzer. The Anastasia ones are also really good. Let me grab those. I have those in my professional kit. I have the medium to medium tan. This is from Anastasia, and I've had this for years. It also has a highlight in here. And then I have the light medium, and then this also, no, this one doesn't have a highlight. Um, well, shimmer, I guess. That's what I mean by highlight. For this, I don't have to buy individual bronzers and contours. I have them in kits. And a lot of times you can find these on sale. I believe I got both of these during the 21 Days of Beauty when Ulta was having it a couple years ago, and they were 50% off. So, you know, also look for stuff like that where you can get deals. When it comes to bronzers, I would say go ahead and just invest in a kit. It's gonna be way cheaper than just buying like a bunch of individual, like the butter bronzer. I mean, yeah, you can do it if you want. Yeah, you can do the Maybelline. These are really good bronzers too, but instead of buying like, where it's gonna be like $10 a piece and you might need like, I don't know, maybe six, seven, with the different undertones and the different, you know, shades for each skin type or skin tone. I would say just go ahead and invest in these. Um, NYX makes a really good affordable one as well. I deep panned it, so I have them in here. But like, I love this contour from NYX. It's one of my favorites. I don't know what happened to the other ones. I used to have them at some point, but. I might have ran out. I don't remember. So NYX has a good one. Makeup Revolution has one. ELF has one. I want to say Morphe has one. There's just, there's so many affordable brands out there. Just do your research. See what works for you. Buy it and test it out on yourself. Make sure you like it before you use it on other people. And chances are, it's going to be just fine. I wouldn't stress too much about that, but I would definitely say invest in a kit when it comes to the highlight, contour, and blush. Now, I do have one blush kit. This is from the Sephora collection. I broke the cap or the lid, but I love this. It has like a nice variety of deeper. Sorry, my light is like really bright. 
I don't know, there's a reflection in the monitor, so hopefully you can see it okay. But it has some lighter ones for lighter skin tones, and then I have some deeper ones here. ELF has one. I want to say Makeup Revolution has a blush palette too. Um, I know Sigma has them. Art has the holiday packs most of the time, where you can get like five or six for like $30. I want to say that this was like $25 or $30. Six blushes, it's kind of like, you can't beat the price. It's going to be more cost efficient, but then also you're going to have a variety already. It's going to be easier for you to travel and more compact as well. Anastasia has the highlight palettes. I don't know if they still make them. I haven't seen them in stores in a really long time. The Anastasia Glow palettes. I love this. This was like 40 bucks for four highlights. The pans are enormous. This one broke, so I don't have it anymore. Highlighter is such a great thing because you don't need a ton of it. You you can get like the little mini highlighters, like the little Ofra, like I have this little Ofra one. I've had this for years. I've never gone through it. I'm probably never gonna go through it because you don't need a lot of highlight. Ofra makes a really nice highlighter palette. They are the minis, but honestly, you're never gonna go through a highlighter. Like, has anybody ever gone through one? Because I've never gone through a highlighter. You don't need a ton of different highlighters you don't need a ton of different blushes you just need the basics out of all the clients that I've ever done I can only recall maybe one person wanting something like colorful and crazy and like colors and you know the norm is getting like the warm smoky eye or they're getting something natural or they're getting something neutral unless you're working in maybe like I don't know high fashion or you're doing photo shoots or something like that like for me I did brides I did sweet 16s, I did graduations, things of that nature. And I'm telling you guys this because when I first started my kit, I feel like I, I was prepared for the worst. Like I spent so much money on like, I had to have a green eyeshadow palette. I had to have a purple eyeshadow palette. I've never used any of those. I just didn't. It's just like not the way it was for me. And if you're doing like bridal makeup, which probably the majority of us are, it's just not the norm. You're gonna get one every now and again where it's like, hey, I want something like colorful and I want a peacock or a double cut crease and you know, you're gonna get that anomaly every now and again, but probably 99% of it, at least for me, coming from somebody who's done makeup since I was out of high school, I can count all the times on one hand where I did something really wild. Anyways, uh, palettes are awesome, and they, again, they don't have to be expensive palettes. You don't have to spend a ton of money. Drugstore makes really good ones. Physician's Formula has a beautiful highlight palette. Their highlights are so buttery and soft. So again, just do your research, see what's out there, test things, try things, try it on yourself, and then put it in your kit. I would say for brows, go with a pencil or a powder. They're just so much easier to work with. I love these uh, pencils from CoverGirl. Now brows are really easy because you don't have to have a ton of different brow colors. You need a blonde, you need a black, and then you need like a medium brown. And honestly, I maybe a taupe. Get a taupe because taupe is pretty universal. I bought three dip brows from Sephora when I first started my kit. I got uh, I think a light brown. Actually, I have them here. I have medium brown and I have dark brown and that's all I used. If I had somebody who had black hair and they wanted their brows a little darker, I'd go in with a little bit of black eyeshadow and I had like one blonde pencil and that was all. that's all you need. You don't need a ton of brow products. CoverGirl, these are awesome. This is literally my favorite brow product of all time. I stopped using all of my expensive brow products because this is just it for me. They're like $6 a piece. LA Girl makes a really good brow pencil. Maybelline and L'Oreal mo both make amazing pencils. Um, other than that, I would say get a clear brow gel and like you don't even need colored like I use a brow like a a fluffy I forgot like a, a fiber filling brow mascara I use this on myself but I don't even think you need this in your kit you can manipulate product and like say supplement for what you would use that for you can use an eyeshadow to just kind of fill in the excess I would say just get a clear brow gel pick up this from NYX this is amazing. The uh, brow glue, it's just as good as the Anastasia one, and it is like $8. We just need to do eyeshadow palettes, and eyeshadow palettes, I'm just going to keep it simple. 
just get a nice single neutral palette. Um, I don't have it in front of me right here at the moment, but the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette is is and was my most used palette that I used on every single person. If you go through my Instagram and look at my client makeup, I probably use that palette for the majority of everyone. Everybody wants a warm tone smoky eye. I never ever had people who wanted like a cool tone eye. I did keep a cool tone palette in my kit just in case. Um, and for that, I would say go with ColourPop. ColourPop is amazing. Their palettes are so affordable. I love this for cool tones. It's the That's Tote palette. You have your cool tones, and then you have your warm tones. You can go with Morphe. I, again, I'm not a big fan of Morphe, but I love the Jaclyn Hill palettes, and I love ColourPop. ColourPop is amazing. Don't be really worried about the anomaly where it's like, oh, I want purple, or oh, I want green. That's gonna come out during your consultation. Chances are, most of your brides are not gonna get a blown out purple or green or blue smoky eye. Like, it's probably just not gonna happen. Now, if that's the case, again, ColourPop makes amazing, colorful eyeshadow palettes, but you don't need all the different colors. For me, when somebody would book me, they'd message me on Instagram and say, hey, you know, I wanna book you for my wedding. Can you do this date and this date? I would just ask them. I'd be like, hey, do you have looks in mind? Do you want to send some inspiration my way so I can kind of see what you're going for? I always did a consultation with my brides at least, and I would be like, hey, you know, let's do a consultation. And we talked about what we were doing before the big day, even for like sweet 16s or I do a lot of quinceañeras. I'd just be like, hey, do you kind of have a vision? And if they were like, oh yeah, I want a peacock green and blue teal eye, Okay, well then I have time to run to Ulta and pick up a ColourPop palette. And chances are that's not going to happen. I'm just saying worst case scenario, ask your client. Say, hey, do you kind of know what you're going for? The majority of them are probably going to want a neutral smoky eye. That's just how it is. That's just, we're simple people. We are creatures of habit, okay? I'm telling you this because I was just so stressed out. I was like, I'm gonna get that one person who wants green or who wants blue. And I bought so many things that I just didn't need. Start with the basics and work your way up when you get to that point. Does that make sense? I'm not even gonna go over mascara because everybody knows drugstore mascara is just the best. L'Oreal Voluminous, L'Oreal Power Volume, those are the only two mascaras that I really ever use ever from even when I was in high school, middle school. There's always really good drugstore eyeliners. L'Oreal makes a good one. Maybelline makes really awesome eyeliners. Uh, Pixi makes good eyeliners. You need a black and a brown. Don't go buying 50 million color eyeshadows. You're just not gonna need them. Get a black and get a brown. It's probably the only two you're gonna use. When it comes to lashes, Duo Lash Glue is the best. And all of my years of freelancing, I have only ever used Duo Brush On, Dark Tone, and the Clear. I don't have any more of the Clear because I ran out. But those two are just by far the best lash glue ever. They don't move and they never will. For lashes, you wanna get some lighter ones and get some more dramatic ones. I would say get a pack of light, get a pack of dramatic. You can go to the beauty supply and get tons of different lashes for like a dollar to two dollars. If you really wanna have a big variety, you can spend very, very little amounts of money at any beauty supply store and they have pretty lashes. I've done that for years. I also love these Ardell Double Ups. These are really, really pretty. They add like just enough umph where it's not too much. I love these from Salon Perfect. These are the winged Demi collection. They're just a little more dramatic, not too much to where it's like overpowering, but it's like that nice medium, like in between. Last, I think we have our lips. When it comes to lips, always make sure you have a red lip. I love the NYX Suede Map suede matte lip liners this is in the shade spicy and then we have the shade i think this is kitten heels those are really awesome reds and for lipstick i would say go with milani milani super comfortable it's super affordable this is the suede matte lip cream in number 10 so beautiful like just such a beautiful red they also have deeper ones if you want to go with something a little bit deeper and then when it comes to nudes 
keep it easy. Again, don't overthink it. ColourPop has awesome lip liners. They have the lippy pencils. These are so good. They don't budge once you put them on. They have so many different colors you can choose from, so many different undertones. Their lipsticks are so creamy, so beautiful. I love them so much. I also love Milani ones. I actually have this one on today. I don't know what it is, but it's this kind of packaging. But they're just so creamy, so beautiful. Again, different undertones, different shades, affordable, under like six bucks, I believe. I love Morphe's lip gloss. This is so pretty, this formula. Now this one is in the shade Flower Crown, but this formula is so good. I actually have this on on top of my lipstick and it's very long lasting. The Maybelline Lifter Gloss is amazing. So creamy, so like fluffy and bouncy and shiny. Um, when it comes to liquid lipsticks, again, I'd say go with Milani. I do have a couple of other colors. This one is one of my favorites. This is in the shade number two. It's like this really pretty purpley pink. There are just so many, so many things. Like drugstore lip products are amazing. I love NYX. Oh my god, this from NYX is so, so good. Let me show it to you guys. The Shine Loud. It's a matte on this side and then a gloss on this side, but it doesn't move. Like, it doesn't budge at all. These come in so many different colors. And yeah, there's always just like so many affordable lip options. Get a couple of lip liners, do a red, do a purple if you want, light, medium, and dark tone nudes, and then light, medium, dark tone glosses, and a light, medium, dark tone lipstick. That gives you a different variety. You're covering your glosses, you're covering your mattes, and kind of everything in between. Again, you can mix and match lip products and then get a nice facial spray. Now, I do like MAC Fix Plus. I'm not really big into setting sprays. I really like the Mario Badesco Rose Water. A lot of people shit on this. I like it. It always worked for me. I've always kept it in my kit. It's really nice at just kind of like settling things and making things look skin-like. Can this hair please get out of my eye? If you're doing primers and you're kind of setting with powders and you're doing long-lasting products, I don't really think you necessarily need a setting spray, maybe just a facial spray to bring everything together and kind of settle everything. I think I covered everything. I hope it was helpful. Please let me know if you have any other requests makeup artistry wise below. Just leave it in the comments below and I will do whatever you guys want me to film. I hope this helped you somewhat. If it didn't help you, I apologize. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know any other videos you want to see in the comments below, and I will add them to my list to film. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe before you go. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!